Uh, let me thank Periyar University Publics, Dr. Pungadi Vijay Kumar, Dr. Prakash Maran, and uh, Dr. Deepa Manikam, and our friend and colleague, Dr. Gautam Palani Sami, CEO of Publics. Uh, we should thank uh, this Publics platform for connecting all of us here. Uh, I'm seeing many audience from various places. So I'm keeping uh, 70 to 80 percent in English, and 20 uh, percent uh, I will mix it up in uh, the local language also. And I'm seeing some uh, outstate candidates also. आप लोग मेरे से हिंदी में भी सवाल पूछ सकते हैं किसी को हिंदी में सवाल पूछना चाहिए तो so I can speak Hindi, English, Tamil, Malayalam, Telugu, Arabic, whatever you want to ask, you can ask uh, questions at the end of the session. Uh, this uh, 15 step has been prepared by me. My name is Pinesh Kardigain. I am the co-founder of SciTech Group. Uh, as Mr. Gautam Palanisamy mentioned, I am a serial entrepreneur. That is why uh, one of my uh, upcoming startup is a part of uh, our public incubate also. I have 20 plus years of managing various businesses in India, Gulf, Asia, and European countries. Uh, with several partners and partner companies as well. So this 15 step entrepreneurial process, a journey from startup to scale up, why this is for you? So first of all, uh, let me share uh, one uh, uh, information to you. This 15 step, uh, this content is developed by me with my partners in uh, Bombay, uh, starting from 2004. So I'm repeating, starting from 2004, we started developing this content. And uh, this is not developed in just half an hour or uh, Googling out something and uh, fabricated. Uh, this is a 15 years, more than 15 years experiences of our entire journey. Uh, we have observed the pitfalls, noted down where we have to be careful and that we can be careless, where we need extra focus. So normally entrepreneurs are bound to make many mistakes. Some of them I have pointed out here also. So many will normally, uh, let me uh, read out what I have uh, noted here, not spending enough money or spending too much money sometimes and entrepreneurs are hiring decisions uh, based on cost and uh, not thinking about marketing. Uh, take it from me, sometimes marketing needs 80% of your product design efforts and time. Uh, you might have spent 20% of the time for your product design and uh, business modeling it out. Uh, whereas for marketing, sometimes four times of the effort and four times of the proactive time. I repeat, proactive time is essential to design a campaign and launch your product. Sometimes entrepreneurs miss uh, mistakes by setting thin margins and no plan B for exit routes. And putting your product first and system last. Make a note, your business is not your product, it is a system. So I'm super excited to present you this con content to all of you, to public colleagues, to budding entrepreneurs, to fellow entrepreneurs, and to fellow business persons. So this is uh, 15 steps. This 15 steps has been uh, designed and made super easy and simple to execute throughout your business and entrepreneurial journey. So, so it will identify uh, and uh, give you an insight of the pitfalls and the extra focus where you need to concentrate and the skills you need to build uh, during the entire process of your business transformation. Uh, from an entrepreneur to a business person. Uh, please uh, absorb my uh, statement. From an entrepreneur to a business person, you are transforming. I can guarantee you at, this, at the end of this presentation, you will be having a complete transformational mindset from an entrepreneur to a business person uh, who is going to start up and scale up and move on further in the uh, complete launch of uh, his business or has business model. So let us dive into the content, 15-step entrepreneurial process. 
uh, guys and uh, colleagues, uh, please let me know. Uh, I'm audible and I am understandable on my languages, uh, or I will slightly modify the language of communication to all of you. Now, uh, Pesar, they love to put it in law in order slang in order language, or do you want me to keep it slow or keep it uh, uh, in a uh, understandable manner? You can uh, please let me know. So shall we dive into the content? The super simple, easy, executable steps, 15 step entrepreneurial process, a journey from startup to scale up. And do nothing else. This is what we guarantee you. This 15 step we have came across from the past, uh, in the since the past 20 years, and we have identified the extra focus required area where you can be careful and that you can be careless or for you now. So let us dive into the content. <clears throat> Number one, establish the goal, the smart goal setting. For example, when you want to do business, when you want to become an entrepreneur, so you must be having your goal, which is more connected to your personal uh, uh, brought up and a personal uh, goal towards where you want to go. Uh, it would be connected to your family as well. It would be connected to your existing business as well. Some of the examples you may want to purchase not a video on over a hotel or and uh, uh, all India franchise distribution. So over a period of time, I want to have a global presence and uh, Maybe over, after three or four years, I want to get listed my company in New York Stock Exchange, America, and uh, make four companies for my four children. company I can give them all company when I'm retiring. So this can be a goal which can be connected to your business. Your personal goal and your business model should have a connection. So make sure your goal, these are all the, some of the examples I have listed. Uh, your examples may vary. Uh, these are all the examples I have listed to you. So make sure you have established a goal which is connecting your business and your personal and family ambition as well. So this is step number one. Number two, step, let us dive into step number two. How to make that Grow smarter. Number two says break it down and do your math. Break it down and do your math. It is a reverse engineering process. So when you want to keep your goal smarter, uh, note it down, you will be connecting two factors. You will be assigning two factors to your goal. One is the time factor, another one is the revenue factors. So in your business model, whatever business model you design, uh, it can be a physical product, uh, if you're delivering something to your consumer or user base, it can be a digital product if you're launching an IT company or a software product, and it can be your services. For example, if you are, are running a gymnasium or if you're running a spa or, you, or if you're running uh, a media service, it can be a services. So these are all the three kind of products you will be delivering out of your business. And while you launch the, the step one, the business model uh, in auditors, our uh, colleague auditors, you should call it as commercial launch. So you will be designing business design, formula, product, launch plan. So uh, we will be uh, a lot of documentations and uh, um, uh, funding a lot, but everything will be uh, a process. But the day one, commercial start control, yeah, production stabilization, everything has happened. Uh, when you start the commercial uh, presentation, uh, you will be having three time factors assigned to your uh, smarter goal. First, 100 days plan, and one year plan, and five year plan. 
<clears throat> so this is your homework number one. Uh, can everybody see HW number one? Hello, Arkun Tarida, HW one in Porter Kenya. Sir, somebody can repeat. <laughs> HW1 is the homework number one. So note it down. This is homework number one. So you will be doing the reverse engineering to make your goal smarter by assigning a time factor and a revenue factor, sales value in the product. Or now the product launch in the business lab, you know, sale level second year sale level or grow. in the time factor mule mao, revenue factor mule mao, enude personal and family goal na achieve panna mudiyuma am i able to achieve those goals this is what your homework is going to be and pay close attention and fine tune with review period the bottom line is you will pay close attention and fine tune with review period so if a review period na enna <clears throat> So the recommended review period is quarterly. So every quarter, you will be fine-tuning. Fine-tune is a word very important. Sometimes you may start up with something and you will fine-tune it. And um, starting time, you use product After six months, due to the consumer base, you will be modifying your product. The modification and replacement, uh, those are all the things uh, which are called fine-tuning. So for example, if one kilo packet just move out there, 500 gram packet or sachet packet of just move out this market layer. Uh, you know, you will be fine tuning. Uh, you will be um, uh, delivering a lot of sachet packets and uh, 200 gram packet and limiting the one kilogram packet for delivering to the market and your distributors. So pay close attention and fine tune with review period. This is very important. This is your homework number one. Now continue so homework for the day where we are so not panicking this homework number one is going to help you to make your goal smarter. So smart goal with time factor and revenue factor. The goal is connected with your business and your family ambition and personal ambitions. Let us dive into step number three. Step number three, educate yourself and build skills. Again, uh, we all must thank this wonderful platform, Publix. You know, in the moon of the step, easy potential. Publix has made our step number three easy. <clears throat> so educating ourselves through the business launch process and business execution process and building skills is very important. So other every panala, what is the way to do that? Ask and mentor yourself only three questions. Note it down. What to do, how to do, what is best. So whenever you are facing an opportunity, whenever you got an opportunity to deliver your client, your consumer, your product, your market is demanding some product and you want to deliver that. What to do, how to do, what is best. What to do? A being the long like endless thing under the Purunjuru. How to do a being the methodology of prepare for doing it. What is best? A being the best way of doing it with profit, with efficiency, and everything. So, in the Muno, Kelv Keta the Kapro, after asking these three questions what to do, how to do, what is best? In the Muno, Kelv Kum Badil Ninga delivery panel of the now. But if you want to ask uh, these three questions, and if you want to deliver an answer for these three questions, you should have some skills. So in an Marina skills build up on So understanding the consumer and market requirements and behaviors, this will help you in answering the first question, what to do. And fitting financials. Financial knowledge is very important. So at what volume you can achieve your break-even point at what volume you can keep your margins. This will help you in answering the second question, how to do. And the third question, fitting trends, will answer you in what is best. Answering the, from a third question, another, what is best. 
So while answering the third question, what is best? Fitting trends. Why we have to do it in the best way and trendy way to beat the competition. In a first question, we the consumer order requirement of fit panero. Second question, the financial and uh, operating margin level of fit panero in the skill level and develop panero. Muda question, the competitor every beat panero. In the trend, the in the type of packaging, la, what kind of packaging can differentiate my product? What kind of advertisement can differentiate my product? What kind of incentive scheme and replenishment scheme can keep my distributors happy when I'm running the race along with my competitors? So if you could not skill the learning and develop anything. So these are all the things which you are going to develop in your third step to deliver your product or service uh, as a business deliverable to your client or consumer base. Having said this, the bottom line is, note it down, you are learning to manage your team, not to do by yourself. You are the head of the business. Don't do any work, only manage your team. But while I'm not doing this work, why I should learn all these skills? So that is the catch is. So if somebody is going to say, sir, in the Mari Pack Company, you will have cost ago. In the Mari or software development, it will have time ago. In the Mari or product to formulate, it will take 15 days. I've been so long enough. You should know whether it is going to really take such a time or whether it is going to really cost that much. So you should have some fundamentals within you so that the team working under you, your employees, or somebody else, whoever, sometimes you may be outsourcing certain activities also. They cannot fool you. If you learn these skills, and you can say, you will have So this is where, this is what. This is the reason why you ask what to do, how to do, what is best, and you know the skills on how to deliver that, and you can manage your team. So the bottom line is, you are going to learn to manage your team, not to do by yourself. Because as per management science, the head should not do any work. It should monitor, it should go on, and it should direct. So that, uh, if you start working, then uh, you are missing something, or you are, or you are going to spoil your business. So make a note, you are learning to manage your team, not to do by yourself. So let us dive into step number four. <clears throat> oh, work every single day. So this is a uh, very, uh, in the not the step, you are designing your character. When you are transforming yourself from a normal person to a business person through entrepreneurial process, you, are, you need to design your character. So you are not going to be a nine to five personality. Your everyday activity will be reading newspapers and reading books, spending half an hour for newspaper and sending, spending one hour for books. It can be a biography, it can be any uh, financial uh, knowledge books, or it can be any business knowledge book. This is going to be your daily routine and passion in whatever you do. This normally, no, uh, it is an important ingredient of every entrepreneur and uh, business person and meditate daily and encircle with entrepreneurial community, masters and PhD scholars around you. Again, uh, this has become very easy when you are uh, uh, in a good, such a good platform like Publix. We should thank Perrier University and Publix for giving us such a platform and making some of the steps easier for us. So it saves our time and it saves our effort. Uh, so you are encircled with uh, uh, eminent professors and uh, who are going to handhold you on certain times and who, who are going to point out your mistakes and who are going to induct you scholarly knowledge for you. So homework number two. This is homework number two. Uh, all of you please note it down. This is homework number two. And the point number four in this, step number four is very important, meditate daily. 
<clears throat> colleagues and fellow entrepreneurs and fellow business persons, it is scientifically proved. Please make a note. It is scientifically proved the more you meditate, you are less likely to make a mistake. The more you meditate, you are less likely to make a mistake. This is scientifically proved. Even the number one company, number one Fortune 500 company, Apple, is having half an hour meditation session on their work hours. So meditate daily. The morning 7 o'clock and evening after 7 o'clock is an ideal time. So two times you can meditate. It may sound simple. It may sound simple, but it is going to organize your mindset and your character. Meditation, I'm giving more emphasis and more importance to this particular point number four in step number four. Meditate daily. I can share you some small story. Uh, Muslims business pandala patrugo. Muslims business la ola seeker of toka matanga. And particular sila sectors la unger panga, Muslim friends. Pathing in a young angela errors come here teva podudo. Young angela focus jasti teva podudo. Young angela rumba nidanama meditatable save and develop. For example, embroidery works watch services, opticals, nowadays into uh, mobile servicing also. These are all the areas where Muslims are pioneering because their five times prayers in a day gives them a meditatable ingredient within their body and they are concentrating more and focusing more on micro activities like this. Even darning uh, Sulikura a particular small uh, one man uh, business. Sir. I can show you another important story also. It's not a story, it is a fact. British Rajakudumam, British Empire, whenever they are doing their marriage function, even recently, uh, uh, mm, uh, um, uh, our uh, Royal Highness uh, Prince Williams, our uh, wife, uh, Kate Middleton. Uh, when their marriages was happening, uh, uh, marriage angi a white dress uh, embedded with Swarovski crystals. I came to know this Swarovski crystal embedding and embroider activity is happening in Pakistan, Karachi. Every time when British marriages are happening, they are sending the uh, uh, fabric, cloths, and the Swarovski diamonds. To Karachi, one particular family is doing that hand embroidery work and embedding of Sarovsky diamonds to the British family and sending it back to for their occasions and wedding. So meditation is very important. It is scientifically proved. The more you meditate, you are less likely to make mistake. The more you meditate, you are less likely to make mistake. It is scientifically proven. This is format number two. So the bottom line is, when you are designing your character in uh, with such attributes, it is very important for the business owner because you are a role model for your employee. Let us move on to step number five. So everything is done, your business model is ready, your launch plan is ready, your product design is ready, formula is ready, even sometimes your stabilization of the unit, production unit, training of staff, everything is ready now. So you need to connect resources. You need to connect resources. So buy, connect, direct benefiting items. For example, if you're using one particular missionary uh, once in six months or once in three months, you're not going to use that daily. Don't buy that mission. It is going to add up depreciation to you. So build a certain link. Some of the tools, some of the uh, skill set which are going to help you in achieving step number five is Timur, 
lean and six sigma note it down timur lean and six sigma are important tool to learn and excel throughout your business journey implement it and you will succeed it why you need to do because the formula of business is do everything better cheaper faster if you are able to give a product if you are able to give a service if you are able to execute a project the only formula in business is you must be able to give it better you must be able to give it cheaper you must be able to give it faster having said this the trick is note it down it's very important the trick is if you are trying to achieve all the three you will fail in business if you are trying to achieve this formula better cheaper and faster all the three you will fail in business the trick is achieve try to achieve only two factor in this three and don't even think to achieve all the three it can be better and cheaper or it can be cheaper and faster or it can be faster and better try to achieve only two if you try to achieve three you will fail in business the formula of business successful business is better cheaper and faster but the trick in achieving and executing that formula successfully is try to achieve only two out of this three always that two whatever you want you can choose on your own to fit your business model the choice is yours but try to achieve only two never try to achieve all the three in this formula let us dive into step number 6 So, how to outsource and why to outsource? Uh, outsourcing repetitive tasks to others. Give me a moment. Please outsource all the repetitive tasks to others. And while hiring and engaging staffs, hire a listening pool instead of an all green topper. Hire a listening pool instead of an ordering topper. Find people who are willing to learn, who are willing to follow your instructions, and be paranoid. So don't trust anybody. Don't ever trust anybody. So this is all very important while you're keeping your journey, business journey, happening continuously. Find people who are willing to learn. Who are willing to follow the instructions and be paranoid? Hire a listening pool instead of an ordering chopper. He will maintain your brand image and he he will elevate your businesses. Let us dive into step number seven. The step number seven is not delegatable. All other things while you are executing some many of most of the. Uh, operational uh, factors you will be delegating to others the step number 7 is totally yours as a business person as an entrepreneur it completely falls on your shoulders so what to analyze and what to improve you see this is completely on your shoulder know your numbers and know what investors are looking for so having said this So, nane paritse eludi nane mark potuklama. Kuda 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 dilia. So, I should engage a third party consultant, somebody like an auditor, who can umpire uh, lava uh, match vela kuda. So, even uh, uh, Roger Federer, uh, the number one boxers, everybody travel along with coach, uh, top tennis player. Na number one right, padal ni Grand Slam win panita. எனக்கு எனமே கோச் தேவையில்லை அப்படின்னு சொல்லி ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ்ல யாருமே தே நெவர் ஃபாலோ தட் ராங் மெத்தட் இல்லையா ஸோ வேற வேறு யூ ஆர் டூயிங் பிஸ்னஸ் யூ ஷுட் ஹாவ் சம்படி டு பிக்னஸ் யூ அண்ட் மானிட்டர் யூ அண்ட் ஜட்ஜ் யூ வித் அ தேர்ட் ஐ வித் அ காமர்ஸ் பர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ் ஆய் வித் அ ஆடிட் பர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ் ஆய் ஸோ யூ ஷுட் கீப் அ தேர்ட் ஆடிட் சம்படி லைக் அன் ஆடிட் the um, sometimes if the business is bigger you can have a technical auditor commercial auditor brand auditor so normally they uh, call them as consultants 
ஸோ நாமளே பரிட்சை எழுதி நாமளே மார்க் போட்டுக்க கூடாது நோ யுவர் நம்பர்ஸ் நான் ஸ்மார்ட் அப் கோல் நம்பர் ஒன் ஸ்டெப்பில் செட் பண்ண ஸ்மார்ட் கோல் அச்சீவ் பண்ணுற நம்பரை நான் அச்சீவ் பண்ணுற இந்த டைரக்ஷனில் தான் நான் போயிட்டு இருக்கேன் நான் ஐ எம் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் தீஸ் நம்பர்ஸ் த இன் டர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் டர்ன் ஓவர் பெர் இயர் இயர் ஓவர் இயர் வெர் ஐ எம் கோயிங் இன் அ போர் டைரக்ஷன் ஆர் நாட் ஆல் தீஸ் நம்பர்ஸ் யூ ஷுட் நோ அண்ட் வாட் இன்வெஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆர் லுக்கிங் ஃபார் இன்வெஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆர் யுவர் நாட் ஓன்லி யுவர் பேங்கர் யுவர் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட்டர்ஸ் ஹூர் ப்ராடக்டை டெலிவரி பண்ணுறவங்க எல்லாமே நம்ம ப்ராடக்டை கன்சியூமருக்கு எடுத்துகிட்டு போய் சேர்க்கறதுக்கு யாரெல்லாம் அசோசியேட்டபிளாக இருக்கிறாங்களோ அவங்க எல்லாமே வி கேன் டர்ம் இட் அஸ் இன்வெஸ்டர்ஸ் வெல் டர்ம் இன்வெஸ்டர் டசன் மீன் த ஃபைனான்ஷியல் இன்வெஸ்டர் ஃபண்டிங் இன்வெஸ்டர் த டர்ம் இன்வெஸ்டர் மீன் ஈவன் பப்ளிக் சீஸ் இஸ் அவர் இன்வெஸ்டர் பிகாஸ் தே ஆர் இன்வெஸ்டிங் தே ஆர் இன்ஃப்ராஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அண்ட் த நாலேஜ் பேஸ் ஃபார் அவர் பிஸ்னஸஸ் ஸோ வாட் இன்வெஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆர் லுக்கிங் ஃபார் அவர் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் அவர் ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் பப்ளிக் சீஸ் அவர் இன்வெஸ்டர் and uh, our stakeholders nammaloda uh, distributors nammalku nammalude product eduthu poi market la distribute pandrathuk attach aagiravanga nammalku vathasiya irukravanga nammalude brand ah fine tune pandrathuk all these people are investors understand what investors are looking for uh, and know that by numbers not just uh, as a theoretical english statement know that by numbers and the bottom line is during entrepreneurial stage it is okay during business launch stage it is okay but when you are scaling up the bottom line is don't forget to digitize operations during scale up for particular value ku mela poichina for particular branches ku mela poichina idha vand psychologically idha vand staff ku mela irundha manage pandrathu romba kashtam so you need a software an erp system a crm system so now you can note it down when you want to digitize and when you want to uh, make everything uh, 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 software uh, manageable operations la epo varano or 20 pet ku mele poiduchinalo 5 branch ku mele aayiduchinalo 50 client ku mele 50 stall ku mele na supply panna vendi irukku abinalo it would be difficult for you to understand the numbers it's time for you to digitize the operations so in step number 7 while you are continually analyzing and improving you should note down when you are becoming bigger so when you are becoming bigger that is the time for you to scale up you can understand you are scaling up your business business valarudhu business valarum bodhu operations la konja konjama டிஜிட்டைஸ் பண்ணுங்க தேவையான சாஃப்ட்வேர் இப்போ எல்லாம் க்ளவுட்லேயே கிடைக்கிது மந்த்லி சப்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆனுவல் சப்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸில் இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் த சாஃப்ட்வேர் அண்ட் மேனேஜ் தி ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸ் சூப்பர் ஈஸி ஸ்கேல் அப் ஆகும்போது டிஜிட்டைஸ் பண்ணுறதுக்கும் சாஃப்ட்வேர் இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் பண்ணுறதுக்கும் சலுப்பு பண்ணிக்கிட்டிங்கன்னா கஞ்சத்தனம் பண்ணிக்கிட்டிங்கன்னா அப்படியே கண்ணாடி மாளிகை மாதிரி உடஞ்சிடலாம் ஸோ மேக் ஷூர் வை யூஆர் ஸ்கேலிங் அப் you are digitizing the operations because when the numbers are complex it's very difficult to manage so you should have uh you should know when you are growing bigger by numbers and by volume by revenue so growth is always good huh? let us dive into step number 8 so live like you are poor so say so you should know when to say no to peer pressure what is peer pressure business valara valara you will be associated with so many clubs so many memberships so many <coughs> boards <coughs> and so many fellow business friends who are traveling along with you so i mean all the generator wang it on day night work pandra it may not suit you you may not be running a night of full time ship business so don't purchase another generator and uh, uh, add depreciation to your businesses so you should have self control to understand everything by numbers procrastinate development but not improvements for so development or uh, either a knowledge base skill base <coughs> add panikka vendi irukku that is called improvement development no no the building vaangano no no the vehicle vaangano so enudaiya fellow businessman undu naan vandi vaangita distribute pandrathukku so naanu naalu vandi vaangaren 
that may not suit my business because my product deliveries are softwares. It may go via email or cloud solutions. My product doesn't require a vehicle to deliver my products. So understand what is needed and attach it. And say no for a growth if it is more than 16%. It is scientifically proved anything which grows more than 16% is fragile and it will not be stable. Real estate investment. So I would not recommend that because any growth which is more than 16% is not a stable growth and it is going to put you in trouble. And exit when the growth is below 10% year over year for a period of two years' time at a startup scale. So this is very important. Let us dive into step number nine. So we are making profit, we are making income, the sales is good, the numbers are good. So we should save for some investments. So these are all the investments, do's and don'ts while we're reaping money. Procrastinate investment on assets having more than 10% depreciation per annum. Unga auditor is very recommend for Normal all asset may 10% depreciation value for one but for electronic assets, the audit norms is more than 40% depreciation. Don't go and buy a robot, don't go and buy a big projector, or don't go um, business nala on this income nala digital video conferencing room for right through the first floor office. Le. So don't invest much on digital and uh, hardware items which are having depreciation because this, these and all are items which are uh, governed by version launches. If you purchase a particular uh, hardware for uh, 50 lakhs and that is not going to work after two years when new Android version or new cloud solutions are going to come in place and that is going to eat your asset value and depreciation value. So avoid derivatives like futures and options. Invest only money-making machines. Buy only money-making assets. Invest on syndicate. The word syndicate doesn't mean a bank here. The syndicate is, again, your stakeholders, your investors, your partners, your friends, your trustworthy circles, your club memberships, your associations. These are all called syndicates. So be careful while you are making profit and where you are allotting certain amount for future investments. So this is the area, step number nine, your business is running and your step number nine, you are making money and you are allotting some money for future investments and how to invest and that not to invest, do's and don'ts. Everything is listed here in step number nine. Make a note. Let us move on to step number 10. <clears throat> so there are some money. We have made some profits, sales, or improving and where to invest. Whatever adds long term value you invest on that. Cash flow investments, rental and recurrent investment, brand management, stocks. Governing it, please concentrate. In my earlier step, number nine, I said not to invest on futures and options, but you can invest on stocks if you're able to understand the fundamentals for you can invest on stocks on your own stack holding companies. For example, if I'm buying packaging items, you know, the food product like a packaging uh, film supply or company is a uh, Uniflex company and the company would share it along. So who are in my circle. So you can uh, invest on bullions, you can invest on art and collectibles. Crypto coins, I have put a star mark, but still the technologies are evolving. Let us think whether it is helping for our businesses in our uh, close circle or not. Then it is advisable to invest because we will be able to transact our business deliverables in crypto coins itself. So these are all the investment ideas while you make profit and uh, uh, decide to invest for expanding the business. While we are doing investment, we are going to expand our businesses. So that is the reason we are investing with these steps. Let's dive into step number 11. <clears throat> Reinvest in the main business. 
Guys, colleagues, this is homework number three. Note it down, homework number three. Reinvestment is an imperial activity. What is imperialism and what is colonialism? Imperialism is an activity when you are building your business empire, you need some colonies, you need some subcontractors, you need some suppliers who, you, who are going to supply to you on your brand, on your name. So you are not only going to build customers and consumers, you are going to build supplier bases, vendor bases, and you are going to build a colony for your business empire. That's why we process the backward integration. Poor is uh, completed MBA. They might be aware of this backward integration process. It is nothing but buying out your supplier. If you supplier a series of business management, it should not affect your uh, supply. So you can buy that company and add it as an ancillary unit and the brand and capacity building learning invest panala. You need to reinvest on that. And tax saving zones like uh, CSR initiatives and uh, training your branches and training your subcontractors, training your suppliers how to supply, in the quality of supply, in the type of packing material, in the learning and training of suppliers. And the expenses along with the tax, your auditors will guide you on all these processes. Identify identifying all these uh, factors is your format number three. Let us dive into step number 12. Find a successful mentor. Again, Publix, the platform, wonderful, plat wonderful platform by Periyar University has made this step super easy. Finding a successful mentor. Because a mentor is a person who has already traveled that role before and connect with that community, connect with that particular person, connect with that particular scholar, professors, and be honest with them because they're going to accelerate your growth and they're going to save you from failures. So Publix is a wonderful, wonderful platform headed by Mr. Gautam Palanisami. He's connecting with all eminent personalities who have already traveled this business path and uh, with the vision of uh, Dr. Pungadi Vijay Kumar, the head and uh, Dr. Prakash Maran and Dr. Deepa Malikam, everybody is uh, constantly focusing and on hand holding our entrepreneurial community in uh, delivering and achieving our goals. So Publix has made this process of finding a successful mentor super easy. Step number three, 13, I'm sorry, step number 13, build your network. This is again homework number four. Because there is a saying, your network is your network. Network network certificate. It is our savings, it is our asset value, it is our company value. This is our order book. Next order, full So this is your brand value. So your net worth for five crore, your net worth for ten crore, your net worth for fifty lakhs. I've been told your net worth certificate. That we are an auditor. That which is that we fund delivery. Jingle up on bank loan, bank loan, share market. La broker to pay see. So the net worth leverage. Pani kudu nuwa solo. But apart from financial net worth. There's another network called network, your network. The people who you are associated with, or the platform you are associated with, that is your network. The auditor could get a network. In the network, the ingredient of Sarah Marnadana, take it from me, your network is going to become zero like our uh, i should not be telling the name but uh, i have to mention it now intellectual network financial network intellectual network you're going to end up like vijay malaya 
I should not be mentioning the name, but I should mention to make you understand clearly. So your financial network will become null and void if your intellectual network is not attached with it. So find people who are in the same platform, find people who are disciplined and cultivated along with your business journey, find people who are having long-term vision, find people and keep them with you who are transitional and futuristic and be doubt as someone needed. Read out my net. Can somebody say what is reading out? Please, audience, colleagues, reading out nine again. Can somebody say? I'm not hearing from anybody. What is reading out? Let me say, Kalai Dikaran. So while you are building your network, to keep your network valuable, your associated friends, your associated platforms should fit your brand image and character. Sorry, we are not immediate a color different. So, our own record that we are going to do is not going to be done. Our business is going to be done. So, keep people around you, keep associations around you, keep clubs around you, keep uh, platforms with you who are fitting your brand, culture, and your futuristic goals. This is very important, and this is your homework number four. So, let us go to the Fourteen step. So, you have to do steps to do it, continue to travel, and then you can do the network and the leverage. So, that is going to be a compounding benefit for your business. So, when you are on the network, financial network, intellectual network, interconnected in the last point, point number 13. So, Financial network, intellectual network, interconnected idea. Intellectual network when you are communicating, when you are attending meetings, when you are attending forums with your clubs and associations, you can look for new opportunities, which is fitting your brand, and that is going to keep you your growth upwards. So always your financial network and intellectual network are interconnected and keeps you moving up in your business expansion plans and makes you to achieve your goals faster. So let us dive into our 15th step, the last step. What is that 15th step? And in the 14th step of Pandambodhi, in a business startup, you have built your business and you have scaled it up and you are running your business, you are running the business show, and you are completing this 14 step as a daily character of your business. The 15th step is interesting. Sell the business and do it all over again. Last to 14 step Panambodhi. In the phase one, phase two, phase three, in Porter Kenya, in the Anji phase you can under the under opinion again. The phase one, what it says, when you do everything on your own, is a pre-launch process, and the business design, the packaging design, the product formulation, the uh, packaging, and positioning. It all me under phase one la na under ko. After launch panel ringa, phase two ko ringa. The organization slightly bigger. Some people will look on the ring. I want to control fund rather managing controlling them is phase two. Phase three of your business is controlling the senior managers and empowering them. In the phase three level, the senior managers Matuna Linger popping out the empower Panir Pinger, Anglic Killer Kraula, every. Uh, operate for me, uh, work at the phase three. You are uh, uh, you are the top boss, and you will be uh, there are managers under you, and uh, you will be empowering them uh, with financial. You will be empowering them 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 with 
phase 4 la vandu or pan india or universal situation expansion franchises branches edala pannadu appo vandu enna aidumna the management is more through systems more through procedures and processes and hence becomes more important to have strong processes in the phase 4 la dhaan neenga software la ulle kondu varinga phase 5 you create entrepreneurs within the organization adha da entrepreneurship nu solli it's a term used while you are creating uh, branches la profit center a maarirudhu branch managers la uh, profit managers a maarirudhu they are responsible for the profits and brand building of that particular branch or division or the franchise in border in the anji phase in kadanda vandirupinga so in the 15th 15th step la anji step in kadanda note panniteenga appadina 15th vela enna step la irukka unga vela enna sell the business and do it all over again sell the business and do it all over again so in the 15th step you unga lifetime la within your lifetime if you are able to repeat this 15 steps four times take it from me you are going to have four companies under you if you are able to repeat this 15 steps 10 times you are going to have 10 companies under you you have created 10 companies so this 15 steps of the journey from startup to scale up process i repeat these 15 steps we have developed for the past 20 years with my various partners in dubai warsa and uh, kuala lumpur and we have developed this 15 steps through our complete business journey some of the businesses we have sold in fact uh, the company what we have created in bombay we have sold it to an australian company so when it, when the value is successful we can this is the exit point actually so sell it recreate it and do it much bigger next time so இந்த பதினஞ்சு ஸ்டெப்பை ரிப்பீட் பண்ணும்போது அடுத்தது பெருசாக பண்ணுவீங்க ஏன்னா இந்த பதினஞ்சு ஸ்டெப்பில் யுவர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் த ஃபிஃப்டீன் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் இஃப் யூர் ஏபிள் டு ரிப்பீட் திஸ் ஃபிஃப்டீன் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் அண்ட் இஃப் யூர் ஏபிள் டு ரிப்ளிகேட் திஸ் ஃபிஃப்டீன் ஸ்டெப் என் நம்பர் ஆஃப் டைம்ஸ் தட் என் நம்பர் ஆஃப் கம்பெனிஸ் ஆர் கோயிங் டு பி அண்டர் யூ திஸ் என் நம்பர் ஆஃப் கம்பெனிஸ் ஆர் கோயிங் டு அண்டர் யூ ஸோ இஃப் யூர் ஏபிள் டு ரிப்பீட் திஸ் ஃபிஃப்டீன் steps five times in your lifetime you are going to have five businesses under you so these are all the 15 super easy practical steps uh, one can uh, use it as a, a road map or a guide map for their entrepreneurial journey uh, by uh, while transforming them from a normal person to a business person so uh, adapt this uh, 15 steps start doing it executing it and do it all over again to create and number of business this is all 15 steps now i want one volunteer to read these 15 steps and put up in next slide i want one volunteer in the audience all 15 at a glance can anyone read all these 15 steps please good morning sir good morning please go ahead establish the goal yes break it down and do your math reverse engineering educate yourself and build skills work every single day get shit down outsource repetitive tasks to others analyze and improve live like you are poor save to interest invest reinvest in the main business find a successful mentor build your network leverage your contact to diversify your portfolio sell the business and do it all over again trade secret wonderful wonderful this is all the 15 steps oh we discussed about 15 steps but there is something called trade secret nama take away la adha irundha there is a secret third secret baaki four take away um kedachu pochu in the 15 steps la what is the trade secret so something is uh, adding up illaya so everybody is interested to see what is the trade secret can i say that come on let me hear from you are you all interested to know the trade secret yes sir we are interested so in the 15th step you panarring eh the complete journey is proceeding up you're all transforming from an entrepreneurial 
process, uh, during the entrepreneurial process, you're transforming yourself uh, from a normal person to a business person. And that is going to be a trade secret while you are executing all these 15 steps and while you are repeating uh, this 15 step to create number of businesses. So what is that trade secret? Shall we dive into that and see what is a trade secret? Let's go to the next slide to understand and to see what is a trade secret. Shall we? This is a trade secret. Can anyone please read? Any volunteers from the audience? Can anyone please read? Can, any, can anyone please say what is the, what is displayed here in the trade secret? Come on, anyone please? Are you able to see and read it? The screen is black, sir. It's black? Yeah. Oh my God. Yes, that is the secret. The secret is not told. You are not going to say the trade secret to anyone, anyone in your club, in your association, in your uh, intellectual community. While you are doing this, uh, continue, uh, continue uh, your business, while you are continuing your business, while you're executing all these 15 steps, you will note your particular style of doing, your particular style of delivering it, your particular method best suits you and keeps you moving and keeps you energized. And that third secret, you are not going to tell it or you are not going to disclose it to anybody and ever. That is the third secret. Secret in solitary are called solalama nama, solakura But you can identify your secret and you are not, not going to say to anybody, <coughs> say, Solama Yabdinya and the trade secret in Kekering La. But there is a way. You're going to keep that secret. Yes, you are not going to say it to anybody. But all managers and uh, MBA veterans and MBA scholars, and there is something called succession planning. Abdin Solulia, there is something in business called succession planning. Come on, I will say what is a succession planning. So, Padaranjiro also also in the business and in another thing, either mere kundi yam pasangaliko yam ponangaliko, illa yam marumanangaliko, illa yena ka aditta da vara pora in the seat la vara pora thagadi aro na select pani the. He is going to be my successor. Aavungaliko matto na in the secret transform out. This secret is not going to get disclosed on your business journey to anyone else, but. It is going to be passed down to your successor during the transition period. During and only during the transition period. So succession planning, corporate companies, one or two years of successor planning. Uh, so he, he will be coming uh, from that uh, same company generation by generation. So and the succession planning and the successor motto and the trade secret transform all. So the straight secret, what you are going to identify, which is going to, because in the secret, it is not going to be useful for others, because this secret perfectly fits and it is unique for your particular business model. But it is your responsibility to keep it secret and pass it on to the successor during the succession and during only the transitional period. This is how it is going to happen and keep your business generation by generation, year after year, decade after decade, and century after century. The businesses which are getting disappeared are the businesses which are not able to maintain this secret. The secret of maintaining from the businesses alone, and the secret of maintaining from the other businesses now, buy out, merge, disappear. So this is a secret. Congratulations, all of you. Execute all these 15 steps and repeat this 15 step and create n number of companies. 